Hey, what it do, my fellow Virgo booze? Welcome back to Magenta Tarot Messages. I'm Jeannie, and we're going to be doing an energy reading for you. See what came towards you today, or what's coming towards you this weekend, what you should be looking out for. I've already shuffled for this, and you already know what it is. So let's just begin. I like to thank everybody for those likes, comments, subscribes, booking those personal readings with me, and just being here. Okay, so we got betrayal right, right off the back here. I feel like somebody that betrayed you <laughs> is coming in this weekend, maybe giving you a message, sending you a message this weekend. I, mask was significant. They wanted me to see that card. Um, but self-sabotage, somebody who sabotaged something, okay, is going to put on some type of false mask in order to come in acting like they're trying to do something here, Virgo, but I feel like they're trying to bring about a storm here, radical rebirth, brazen. Somebody's coming in confidently, all right, um, taking risk here. I feel like you're shining, all right, you're shining some type of uh, you're gaining some type of attention. This could be glow, okay? You could be glowing. It could be beautiful here. Um, I feel like this is why this person is attracted to you. Secrets revealed. Something has been revealed. You could have revealed secrets about this person. You could have been told secrets about this person. And now they're trying to liberate, all right? So I'm getting the energy of somebody here. <laughs> may have figured something out secrets may have been revealed things may have been told to this person where they now feel like they have to make things better they have to do something in order to make something better for them okay so it's giving false energy somebody coming towards you only to benefit themselves we got addiction i just heard it's way too late <laughs> Uh, too late, too late. Um, you're already receiving this. You're already going through a situation. You can't mediate. You can't like fix karma when karma is already hitting you, brother, sister. Um, that's just that energy. Somebody could be heavy on addiction. Okay, using something addictive excessively. Virgo, um, sex pills, alcohol, all which you can think of here. I just heard you also might have had liberation from addiction. Okay, so if that's you, congratulations, Virgo. Um, change is a big step. Change is a big deal here. Don't ever let anybody tell you otherwise. We have dysfunctional family. Okay, so you could have a dysfunctional family. You could have somebody you have children with or this is your family. Something is happening with this. Okay, so somebody who is in your family could message you. or Somebody you have a family with could be reaching out to you. Say no, Virgo. Point back, period. <laughs> um, just say no. I just heard, just stay woke. Dun, 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 dun. Ninjas creeping. Dun, 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 dun. Catch you sleeping. Hey, just stay woke. You may get a message in your sleep. <laughs> While you're sleeping, wake up to a message and you're like, what is this bullshit here? Spirit wants you to stay woke to somebody's intentions somebody's um, movement if they're only moving towards you uh, when something is exposed when they know the truth here um i feel like there's there's that self-sabotage energy again i feel like somebody sabotaged something and they're hoping for a miracle by coming towards you by gaining your energy by doing something getting you to admit something here and also it's the energy of well i I reached out towards Virgo and Virgo didn't answer me. So what else can I do? Somebody wants to get away with something by just reaching out to you. But it's like, it's a little too late. Virgo don't want to talk to you. You can't amend the energy if somebody doesn't want to fix things with you. You already fucked up. Uh, but somebody wants to use that as a blame. Like they'll blame you not wanting to fix things for why <laughs> there's a problem. When in reality, there was a problem. All right, let's see what's coming towards you. Okay, the engine. I just heard an engine of a car here. And um, somebody could be coming towards you physically, okay? Look, we have spying on you, checking on you. All right, somebody could come check up on you, have a drop by, whatever. 
they're trying to gather info. This person is watching you in some type of way. You may have exposed something, exposed a secret, all right? Um, and now they're spying on you for information, wondering how you know about something. It could be a miracle how you know about things. It could be supernatural how you know about things, Virgo. We have fearless love. I feel like Virgo, somebody still loves you, but they self-sabotage this energy. <laughs> and then we have rage. So now they're angry, all right? What's this justice card for Virgo? There could be karma coming towards you, all right? Um, karma for sharing secrets or karma is secretly getting people. <laughs> okay, I'm getting a lot from this. Somebody's receiving karma, so now they want to talk to you but keep something secret. It's almost like somebody's receiving karma and they want to keep that secret, but they want you to talk to them. They want you to express something to them because they think it'll like mediate karma. You see how there's a feather missing? They feel like they'll balance out something if they can get you to talk to them. If they can get you to open up in some type of way. Like their karma, that, that shit that ha that's happening to them currently will go away. Mm -mm. That's not how it works. Ten of Cups. All right, definitely a family issue. We saw that family card and the Ten of Cups came out. All right, so with the Ten of Cups upright, it talks about you know, happy family, happy home. And then we have the Two of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so Spirit is wanting you to know the Sun card at the bottom. Beautiful energy, Virgo. Spirit is wanting you to know there's karma dishing out, all right? There's karma going to people and there's karma coming to you. Your karma just happens to be getting stability in your future. Inner happiness, fulfillment, all right? Dream family energy with the Ten of Cups. We have the Two of Wands and the Knight of Pentacles. Spirit wants you to know that this is in your future. But with the Knight of Pentacles, this is going to take time. It's going to take efficiency. It's going to take a routine. I feel like there's things that need to be balanced. There's secrets that need to be came out. There's things that need to be sorted, Virgo. But with the Sun card, the victory is in her horizon here. It's in the horizon. Okay, we have the king of pentacles the queen of pentacles and the chariot card here all right so it's the energy of you finding that match here king of pentacles and the queen of pentacles is a married couple two people who bring abundance and prosperity and work energy the queen and king of pentacles are somebody who is stable in their work um, two people who have good jobs coming together to create a whole new level of abundance here and with the chariot card this would be this is coming in for you or there's movement happening here, real movement. So if you thought you experienced a twin flame, um, a counterpart energy thus far, Virgo, I say that this is actually in your future. And everybody beforehand, child, <laughs> I don't know who they are. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know who they are. The hang dragon. Okay, there is there is enlightenment coming towards you. I feel like there is sacrifices that need to be made seven of swords there's a secret that needs to be that needs to be revealed revealed lies revealed seven of swords in the reverse and we have a secret here so let's tap into this energy spirit wants you to know that people everyone is getting karma this year okay yours just happen to be okay at this time virgo spirit wants you to look towards your future here and know that it is coming in for you what's the secret I just heard a dirty little secret, dirty little secret. You ought to know. Dirty little secret. Somebody could have dirty secrets. What's the secret here? The moon card in the six of cups. Okay, so with the moon card, it talks about illumination secrets coming out. And the six of cups talks about past energy. This could be about your family. All right. It could also talk about familiarities, happy memories, um, childhood things here, um, past life connections. I do feel like you have some type of secret being revealed. You do have a secret. This is what I mean. A hidden um, counterpart, past life connection, somebody who is going to be real here for you, Virgo, coming towards you. It's a secret at this time. Ace of Pentacles at the bottom. I can't make this up. It's a secret from you at this time because there's people, there's there's angry people in your energy. There's people still lingering around here and there needs to be some type of forgiveness. I feel like you need to forgive yourself and others here. 
Virgo, childhood forgiveness could be uh, significant in giving and receiving this new love, this new offer, this new person here. All right, tell me about the moon card and the six of cups, the page of pentacles. The strength card, the nine of pentacles, the temperance, and the five of pentacles. Okay. I do feel like there is an offer coming towards you with the Page of Pentacles energy. The Spirit is wanting you to stay strong while you are single because it's, you're going to have to be patient in order to get out of this energy. During this patient time, you may feel a little isolated. Okay, this could lead to depression, isolation, feeling left out, Virgo. But there's a reason that this is happening. There's a reason that that has to happen. I feel like this person has to stay secret. Why does this have to stay secret? Why does this have to stay secret? We have the five of wands, the high priestess, and the four of wands here. Somebody knows about your home. All right, there's conflict about you. Silent conflict, okay? Um, I feel like there's rivalry energy here. Conflict competition. There's fighting going on at this time. And with the high priestess, I feel like you they want you to know about it, but they don't want you to take any action. All right, and the Four of Wands energy talks about a marriage coming in, okay? So it's the energy of conflict around you, stopping this from coming in at this time. But Spirit wants you to know, know and stay silent that this energy is coming towards you. All right, it's some beautiful energy. Spirit wants you to receive something. All right, what's on the other hand of this Justice card? We saw the Virgo's good karma. What's the other hand? of this karma here or who is on the other hand of this karma what's happening here Libra could be significant we have the two of cups two of cups the four of swords and the temperance card okay there was somebody you were in a relationship with Virgo that wants to rejuvenate things with you. Okay, I feel like this person has been patient. They've been silent for a minute here, trying to rejuvenate. They're trying to get back with you, get back up, I heard. This person may be down, okay? I don't know what that means. Down on money, down on time, down on energy, Virgo. Fearless lover, they still love you though. All right, they self-sabotage. That's why they're down here, okay? So this person self-sabotaged themselves and now they're down. Tell me about this energy that's trying to rejuvenate. the lovers the six of wands and the queen of wands somebody who is down because they got into a relationship with a different person virgo so okay so we have the two of cups and the lovers illuminating that there's third party energy there's um more than one relationship here uh with the two of cups this could have been a person you were in a relationship with you were a pair you were a couple at one point I feel like you were unified at one point and now this person is trying to rejuvenate. They were trying to rejuvenate this union with you because they got down over a lover here. All right, six of wands and the queen of wands. This could be a very popular, attractive woman that they got entangled with. I just heard the word entanglement. The word Will and Smith could be very significant. And there's the other queen. Okay, so we have the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Pentacles here. So there is two feminines here. There is two relationships here. King of Cups. And there's the masculine. We have the Eight of Pentacles and the Nine of Wands. This person was working on... Uh, they, okay, they, they have mastered their sexual energy they have mastered their um player energy this is somebody who is master taking action on multiple things at a time virgo this is somebody who is known for that okay um this is somebody who follows their sexual instinct wherever it takes them this is somebody who keeps secrets keep secret lovers is a cheater liar abusive here virgo mentally abusive because they lie to people 
Why does Virgo need to know about this person? Let's get justice card. All right, this is the other hand of justice. This person is getting justice, Virgo. Um, you're being brought towards something beautiful in your future. What is this person being brought towards? Justice again. The Seven of Cups. Multiple options here. Illusions, I heard. Illusions that they are being enlightened is actually burdens, okay? So somebody is being led towards illusions. I feel like I just heard the labyrinth led into the labyrinth, led into a maze here, Virgo. Somebody is being led off into other burdens, hard work, sacrificing delays here to get them out of your energy. So <laughs> that's the conflict here. I feel like this person is still in your energy, conflicting you. So they're being led into illusions that lead them into more hard work, more responsibilities that lead them into more sacrifice here i do feel like this person i'm gonna get a different deck i do feel like this person is watching you okay there's the energy of them wanting to talk to you in some type of way we have success i feel like this person thinks that coming towards you will get success i can't make this up but they're in denial like i said you can't just turn off karma you can't get away from karma you can't just do that there. How you do that there? You know, show me how you do that there. Um, we have the Ten of Cups here. Okay, this could be the dysfunctional family energy. The Page of Pentacles. This person could have been brought into a situation where they were thinking that they were, um, they were thinking that they were going to have a happy family with somebody, but this was a lie. Somebody didn't commit to them. Okay. Um, somebody just used them for greediness, okay? Or this could be what they did to you, Virgo, in some type of way. I do feel like this person is being burdened because they did not commit to their family. This is the type of person who just creates families and then leaves them. Six of Cups, yeah. Multiple children here. I do feel like this person has children that they are neglecting. Eight of Wands. Four of Pentacles, and this is leading them to hold on to tower energy. All right, so they're going to be holding on to this karma for a minute now. This karma is making sure that they're out of the way. I get that energy that spirit wants them out of the way. Um, get out of my way. Get behind me, Satan. All right, somebody could be ex extremely low vibrational here. Tell me about the secrets. Silence. Tell me about the secrets. What are they not telling Virgo? person is in denial of something they want to keep a secret they don't want to believe it's actually happening to them but it is honey it is this is your life you did this it's your fault what is this energy the eight of pentacles and the knight of swords something's trying to work hard okay something's got their the devil card at the bottom, okay? Something lit their, lit their fire. You my, my fire. Dun, 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 dun. I don't know the song. Um, but with the Eight of Pentacles and the Knight of Swords, something like kick somebody into high gear here with the devil card. It could have been something toxic virgo i heard nasty okay i heard sick 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 ick somebody could have the ick the icky sick icky sicky icky vicky they could have got with an icky vicky now they're sicky okay <laughs> eight of pentacles the knight of swords the six of pentacles the ten of swords and the three of swords somebody wants to keep secret Virgo, look at that. That they're a failure. They failed at something. Okay. Something lit a fire in somebody's ass because they received some type of energy that betrayed them and broke their hearts. Okay. They received something that hurt them in some type of way, caused them pain. Pain when they urinate. Pain when they move. I just heard itchy too. Itchy vitchy. Ooh, somebody could have STDs here. This is the Six of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. What did they receive? The Ten of Cups and the Temperance card.
whatever they received, it's some type of balance for family, okay? It's almost like spirits giving them karma because they created families, Virgo. Or some family is distancing themselves from them. Or this person can't have children anymore. Or they're being distanced from their children. What did this person receive? You are my fire. They've been enlightened about something. You light my fire and then enlightenment. And light my fire, enlightenment. The tower. They've been enlightened about something that brought them a tower. Okay, they're flipping out about this energy. All right, they're going to have to distance themselves from family, friends here. Their happy home. They're distancing themselves from a home here. What's the hermit in the reverse in the tower? I just heard Scooby Dooby, where are you? I got some words to do now. All right, so I don't know, I don't know what that's about. Ghost hunters, ghosty energies. You know, Scooby Doo is all about ghosts. Scooby Doo is all about masking the ghosts and figuring out that they're the librarian, your neighbor, your baby daddy, your baby mama, uh, your your mother here. Um, I feel like there was somebody who was unmasked in their energy and now they're seeing this person for who they are okay there was a monster that showed up in their life and they're like oh the monster was it was my babysitter like the the monster was who i was fucking um it's that type of energy here with the magician in the reverse and the king of swords in the reverse something somebody manifested something into their life they were manipulated into manifesting something in their life there's illusions being casted and again with the illusions here you're having the illusions this person is in lack they lack the energy to manifest they lack the energy to get up out of this it's causing a fear a lot of fear and illusions into the lives and i'm being told they're being given illusions to take them away from you because this is the king of swords in the reverse this is somebody who is a dictator oppressive they're inhumane they're very controlling they're cold they're dishonest they don't take care of their family they don't do the things that they're supposed to do virgo so this is their karma they're being led down things that uh, look good look fuzzy on the outside look like a little fuzzy creature and you take the mask off and it's a demon uh, this is the energy of somebody here who is receiving things that um, are manifesting into their life. They're receiving towers being manifested into their life. What are the manifested towers for the King of Swords in the reverse? We have the High Priestess, Seven of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Three of Pentacles. Somebody knows that they can't work with somebody else, okay? Um, with the High Priestess, their secrets about a Queen of Wands, all right? With the High Priestess, I feel like they're getting intuitive downloads about blocking a Queen of Wands um, from working with them, okay? From teaming up, collaborating with them. It's like I said, you take that mask off, this Queen of Wands, and she happens to be the devil. Um, you take the mask off. This person I've been collaborating with, chilling with, and they happen to be the monster that destroyed my office, the monster that destroyed my car, the monster that took all my money and gave me an STD. This is the energy here. Somebody's brought, seeing the illusions that they were, what they willingly walked into. Six of Swords. We have the Nine of Cups in the reverse, the Five of Pentacles in the reverse, the Seven of Pentacles in the reverse. Virgo, somebody's unhappy about this. They're not getting satisfaction in any type of way. I feel like this person has gotten something where they can't get satisfaction anymore. Okay, so if they were addicted to sex, they can't have sex no more. Um, if they were addicted to drugs, they are not getting satisfied from the drugs no more. They were addicted to being a lighter, cheater, abusive, controlling people. They're not in the position to lie, cheat, or control anybody anymore. This is satisfaction being ripped from monster's hand. The five of pinnacles in the reverse. This person is trying to come up out of this energy. I feel like they're thinking talking to you will help them come out of this energy, Virgo. But that's having no results for them. It will have no results in them. They can't go back and amend things they are currently getting caught karma for that's not how karma works i feel like this person chariot they're just gonna have to move through it move on through it a couple more cards here 
we have the Page of Pentacles in the reverse, the Star in the reverse, and the Wheel of Fortune. This is faded events for somebody. Um, with the Page of Wands in the reverse, they have created their own conflicts by being aimless, hasty, by not taking care of their responsibilities, by not doing something that they were inspired to do. They got messages over and over that they should be doing something, and they failed, Virgo. This was somebody who was supposed to learn a lesson of service, of giving to the right people, places, and things, and they could not do that, Virgo. They lacked empathy they did not care this is somebody who refused to be honest with themselves and now they're trying to preserve things like oh if i just do right now i can get out of this energy but no it's faded for this to happen to this person for them to get what they got and uh for you to get what you're going to get so this is what i got here for the virgo sun moon rising north node venus uh one hand of karma is dishing out uh, favor, love, peace, happiness, harmony, and the other hand of karma is reaping and wreaking havoc on somebody's life here. This person will reach out to you wanting to talk to you. They're not going to share the secrets that they're going through. Something shitty, Virgo. But the only reason they are talking to you is to manipulate you into something. Because if I reached out to Virgo and Virgo didn't answer and I did my job, right? No, not at all. You already left Virgo in a situation. You already did something here. You already fucked with somebody's self-esteem. You already fucked with maybe children's self-esteem. You already casted fear in people's lives. You already did something here when you were supposed to be of service. And somebody did not do what they were supposed to do. And now they're getting what they are going to get. So this is what I got here for the Virgos. You resonated with anything here? Please give me a like, comment down below. Subscribe to the channel to see what's coming up next for the Virgos. And y'all already know, I'm very grateful and thankful for everybody watching. Peace.